Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, it is great to meet you. My name is Leti Ringon. I do put out videos every single week. Uh, if I don't, it's because I'm busy with work, but I will do my very, very best to keep myself consistent on my channel. That's my dog, buddy, by the way. Um, today, you might see the background all the clothing. So I have a fashion haul video for you guys. I wanted to do a separate video for the different companies, but it turned out that some of the stuff I'm not really going to keep, so there's no need to mention them. Um, so I mixed in Pretty Little Thing and Shein. Shein, I was so impressed with. Their pricing is so, 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 so affordable. Pretty Little Thing was great for the tops, not so much the bottoms. I don't know if it's because it's a UK company and I don't know. I'm usually a size 12 in everything in the US, but I don't know, measurements from the UK and I just were not vibing bottom wise. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's just get started um, with the looks. I'm going to be introducing the clothing and then as I'm introducing them, I'll probably put in clips for me trying them on. I don't, I think that's easier than like naming everything and then trying them on. You know what I mean? Like we'll just kind of play around with it. So let's get started. First piece that I'm going to introduce you guys is a bodysuit. This is from Pretty Little Thing. I will start with Pretty Little Thing first and then I'll migrate over to uh, she and sorry this is this top I got from Express I got a black one too and they have this zipper thing and sometimes it shows my bra and I'm not crazy about that anywho so this is a nude bodysuit and it's got kind of like a just regular neck crew neck whatever um, it does have the clasp the little click things which are great because <clears throat> when you want to go to the restroom it's so much easier than having to like undress your entire self um i love this i don't recall the price on it because i put in a coupon in the end and i got a lot of savings um but i it was definitely it was definitely no more than 15 dollars. like i can guarantee that um it's so beautiful i love this nude and it looks great with my hair and just very, very early Tony. That's kind of what I've been into this past pretty much entire year. Um, and I was already wore this to San Diego to this dinner that I went with some of my coworkers and love the bodysuit. I'll put in a clip in a little bit. Okay guys, this is the first top. This is that bodysuit. I went ahead and decided to go with black belt with a gold accent and a black crossbody with also gold accent the second one is also a bodysuit this is a gray one very very similar uh, material well it also has a clasp and on the back it has kind of a low cut so it almost looks like a leotard I love this gray because it's not like a weird, super dark gray. It's more like a blue gray. Oh, I just love it so much. I have not worn it yet. All right, guys. And then this is another look that I've put together. I decided to keep the same shoes, just changed the top and took out the belt. You can certainly leave a belt in, but the high-waisted look is so in. Um... So I just wanted to be a little bit more casual, a little bit more dressed down. You can always switch these shoes out for some booties, like the sock booties. You can get tan ones, black ones, hell, you can even wear red ones, whatever color, blue ones, whatever pleases your little heart. Then I got this crop top from Pretty Little Thing as well. The last two items have been Pretty Little Thing, so is this one. I've not yet worn this. It looked different when I ordered it. It didn't look quite as short. Um, but I'm going to wear it with some like really, really high-waisted jeans or a really high-waisted skirt. Haven't decided yet. As you can tell, this nude I am living for. I really like this ribbed material. And it looks like... It, it doesn't look cheap and I really love the big button details like oh. lately I've seen a lot of girls wearing earrings with this sort of like 
I don't know what this is called, but I've seen a lot of people wearing these materials on earrings. And I just think the big buttons just really give it a little boost. All right, guys, so this is the second shirt. I went ahead and paired it with some light wash denim, a black belt with gold accent. I have a black crossbody uh, purse also with black accent. I wanted to throw in a little bit of black because if I, you could always put in a little bit of brown. Just make sure that you try and pair your belt with your top. Um, the top is definitely super short, so I tried to tuck it in, but it looks a little snug this way. Um, I might just try to switch out the jeans for something else, maybe some high-waisted um, skirt or something, but that is the look that I put together. Oh, the sizes that I ordered are all large from all three of those shirts. I ordered a large oversized tee that just says pretty little thing. I just love this because you could wear it with a pair of jeans. You can wear it with leather leggings and some pumps if you want to dress it up. Um, I definitely like dressing up um, graphic tees just because you can look a little more glammy. If you want to dress it down, just a pair of jeans and some white sneakers would look adorable with this and like a jacket. Um, it's more of a summery outfit, but as I said, probably gonna be wearing it with some leather leggings and like some like leathery pumps or something, some cute and maybe like a red lipstick. That would be so dope. Okay guys, and here is the pretty little thing, white simple tee. All I did is pair it with some leather, Faux leather, of course, some black pumps. You can pretty much do anything. Like if you have studded, um, like metal stud pumps, that'd be super cute too. Maybe put on some red lipstick, red little clutch to kind of go off of the pretty little thing. Um, T. And this is the result we got. If you are gonna be going out and it's cold where you live, definitely throw on a jacket. A leather jacket would be cute. All right, guys. Okay, guys. So I just went and I threw on a leather jacket, and it completes the look. It just adds a little bit of extra oomph to your to your outfit, right? And get your clutch, put your shoes on. You're ready to go out the door. You're ready to go out for a cute night with your girls, maybe with your boo, your boyfriend, girlfriends, whoever, whatever. Um, you're all ready to to go sorry to show in here but this guy right here is ugh, so freaking beautiful i love the material it does not feel cheap at all i got it for 25 dollars guys and things like that things like these these types of coat with this kind of material if you went to like zara you'd probably pay like a hundred dollars now the one thing that sucks for me but because i'm so short so this came in a one size fits all also from pretty little thing so it was really long like if i wore it with like tennis shoes it would have dragged all over and it was kind of pimpy looking when it was that long so i had to go to a seamstress or a tailor and get it um hemmed she also did a little bit of work on the sleeves because they were so snug because it's supposed to be a one size fits all that it was starting to like lift from the shoulders and it was looking a little like this it was just weird so she fixed that and she kind of charged me more than the, i paid for the freaking coat but in all honesty and reality like why am i gonna have a coat that i paid 25 dollars for if i'm not gonna wear it like that makes no sense to me so i thought that investing in it just to get it fixed would be worth it because i am gonna get a lot of use out of it especially here in washington i live in a cold state and these types of coats just really can dress up your outfit. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to try it on for you guys. I couldn't wait to try on the the waterfall jacket. Um, this is what it looks like. You can most certainly wear it zipped up or, I mean, tied up. Um, I personally wouldn't tie it up 
I just like that loose, flowy look to it. So, there is that. All right, this is the last item from Pretty Little Fun. Sorry. It is this oversized jean jacket with some distress. I absolutely love, love this jacket. Um, I've already folded these sleeves because I'm one of those. I don't like to have my sleeves all big and weird. So I will just kind of fold them and make them not as big. Anyway, I just love the distress on the front and the back. It is not short and it's not super long. I was actually looking for something a little bit longer than this, but because I'm so short, I can... I can pull it off. It's okay. Um, this guy I definitely got for under 30. I think I got it for like $24.99. And for a jean jacket, that is amazing. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I got from Shein. That stuff I love, love, loved. Okay. So I'm going to start with the... I forget what they call these dresses. I really forgot what they call these dresses. They're called like the con dresses, I think, where they're like kind of, they go off the shoulders from right here and they're fitted. Um, I just loved the color. I just, this color nude and like the camo army, camo browns, like I'm all about these earthy tone colors right now. Anyway, so I wanted to get this. I got this for like $12, I think, from Shein. And I was like really worried because I was paying $12 for something. And I was like, oh my gosh, is it going to be, is it going to be pretty? Is it going to be good quality? And it is definitely good quality, guys. Like, yes. Can't wait to try it on. I ordered these Steve Matten sock booties so I can wear with these, but they haven't arrived yet. So, kind of saying that I'm not going to be able to show you on my try on what it would look like, what I have envisioned, but I'm going to wear black booties with it. So. Okay guys, so this is a dress that I got from Shein. I don't have the tan sock booties that I want to wear with the outfit. But I am wearing them with these black little booties. This could be a Christmas outfit. It could be a holiday outfit depending on the color that you go and you purchase. I am feeling this dress so much. Um, you definitely want to wear the right underwear for it because it could be a little, little see-through uh, depending on the kind of underwear that you are wearing. It can always just, you can always just throw in a leather jacket with the outfit and make it like a little bit more edgy, but that is how I paired it today. Okay, next I ordered a sort of it's a crew neck. It's a crew neck black dress. This isn't supposed to be like hugging to the body and like supposed to be sexy. It's not like that. It's supposed to be more of a comfortable, um, longer or super short dress with it's a crew neck. You could also just wear the sweater alone, like with leggings or something. I think I want to wear these with um, knee high boots. And if it's too short, maybe some biker shorts underneath or some leggings, some like tights, like a, yeah. So we'll see how, how short it is. Um, the material on it is, ooh, that was kind of ugly. Let me, let me. The material is actually quite thick, so it's not going to be like super see-through or anything like that. Okay, guys, so this is that longer crew neck sweater dress that I got from Shein. As I said before, this isn't supposed to be an outfit that like, it's not like a bodycon dress, so it's actually kind of loose. I went ahead and I paired it with this black belt with a gold um, accent to kind of give it a little bit of a cinch on the waist. And I paired it with these Steve Madden thigh high boots okay 
Now, this outfit could be super cute, very Christmas. You could you almost be like a sexy Santa if you get like one of those like Victoria's Secret sexy Santa hats. That would be so freaking cute. Um, you can pair it with like a colorful bag if you want to have a pop of color, right? Or we can um, put it in with a clutch that's red, that's very Christmassy. Um, that could have worked no. too. I just took it up a notch with this jean jacket because I really wanted to try it on for you guys. And I really like this look. It's like short but kind of dressed down now with a jean jacket. I am I'm here for it. Yes, this is definitely something that I will be wearing in the near future. I'm sorry, I also got shoes. I'm really excited about this. Okay. I got these espadrilles. They, I think, are inspired by the Chanel espadrilles. I don't really know how much the Chanel espadrilles are because, to be honest with you, I've never looked them up. For I did get these it's the dress from Shein. They are the Chanel ones. Just have like the C's here, but these obviously don't have that. These are just very affordable. These are like fifteen dollars, guys. Yes, fifteen dollars. They're so fucking cute. I know that maybe espadrilles aren't for everybody, but they just look so classy with like the patterned leathery look and then the little gold chains the little details the flatness you can wear it with jeans you can wear it with shorts in the summertime you can wear it with other leggings just regular leggings like you can wear this look a lot you can dress it up or dress it down um i i, I just can't like i've worn them a lot lately these are in the size 37 european um that is a size 7 in the u.s and I love them. I wish they had more colors. I'm gonna be going back on their website to see if they have like anything new that they're putting in because I just, I just can't like, I just love them so much. This is like my favorite purchase I think so far from their website. I have mixed feelings about like, <sighs> the reason why I have mixed feelings is because some people are, really judgmental and um i'm gonna give you full disclosure okay like i'm not trying to pass these as something that they're not um so these i believe are like so these i believe are um valentino inspired because of like the little metal studs and like the little strappy thing right they're so cute i got them for like 20 bucks um, the only thing, I didn't realize this when I ordered them, but, so they have, like, these red backing bottoms. They clearly are not, like, Louis Vuitton. Like, they're not Louis Vuitton, so I'm fully disclosing. They have, like, some lining here, and it, it, they're not trying to pose as that. Like, they don't say Louis Vuitton or anything. They say Shein from the company. The only reason why I'd be like a little hesitant to wear them is because if I wear them, I don't want people to think like, oh, she thinks she's wearing Louis Vuitton. Like, I'm not. Like, I'm not trying to pass them on, okay? Full disclosure here. Um, other than the red backs, bottoms, whatever, they are so fucking cute. They are like just so adorable. Um, on the, and then they have the, like the little straps, right? They are super comfortable. I also really was not crazy about this clear heel thing. I think that's fucking weird, but whatever. Then I ordered another black uh, shirt. This is also from Shein. Everything that I ordered from Shein is large, by the way. Pretty much I always order large tops. Um, only if it's certain materials, I will go like extra large because they do shrink. Um, but none of the stuff that I got, I think, is shrinkable. Um, this is just a very plain black long sleeve that has these, like, little buttons. 
which can make it look super, super sexy. Um, it is quite see-through-y. Um, so you're just going to want to make sure that you wear a good bra to hide your ta-tas unless you want to show them and then wear a skinky bra and you'll look real freaking cute. It's got that ribbed look, but just really thinly. It's super cute. I got it for like $8, I think. Okay guys, so this is the black long sleeve that I got from Shein. The one with the buttons. As you can see, it is a little bit see-through-ish right here in this area. I just decided to pair it with my espadrilles, which are super comfortable. Some higher waisted jeans and a black a belt. You can wear this top with pretty much anything. This is just how I decided to wear it today. I'm gonna show you um, the same outfit with some, you can actually pair it with like some boots or some peels, like some pumps, whatever you want. You can also throw in a little leather jacket with this and give it a little extra night boost. This is a day look, like a shopping look, if you will, or like a cute lunch outfit, maybe some light dinner with your girls. But if your guys are gonna go from dinner to then maybe like the club or something, you can put on some heels and a leather jacket and really boost it up. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Okay guys, this is what I was meaning when I said a little leather jacket. Then you pair it with some heels. And uh, a cute little clutch. And then you turn it into a total night look. I'm really digging these shoes, to be honest with you guys. They're super cute. These jeans are from American Eagle. Yeah, I would totally rock this. I don't have any white blouses, so go away from the light a little bit. So I just got a white button-up blouse that has doesn't have those weird necklines it's just very cute very um versatile you can like tuck it in with some jeans you can wear it with leather like full leggings you can wear it um with some leather leggings you could wear it with a skirt a high skirt like high-waisted skirt a pencil skirt shorts in the summertime i mean they a white blouse is a staple. It should be a staple in your closet. Like every woman needs to have a white button up. Um, also got it, well this one I did get an extra large because of this situation, okay? Um, I think I got it for like $15. It couldn't have been more than that. And the material is really nice, guys. Like, I love it. I got this burlette from Victoria's Secret and you can actually unhook it quite low. I wouldn't suggest doing this with anything else but a bralette. I went ahead and I dressed up this look just a little bit more with some Mary Jane uh, Mark Fisher uh, leather shoes. If you want to add some color to this you can get a nice, colorful bag, right? Depending on the time of year it is. Or you can go with something a little more fally. And that's that's the look. Okay, guys, so I went and I dressed up the blouse a little bit with a red clutch, some pumps, and some black higher-waisted trousers. Okay guys, and this wraps up my fashion haul video for a pretty little thing, Shein. I really had a great time filming this. I hope I have as much fun editing. Editing isn't as fun as filming, but I do hope to have this up for you guys really, really soon. I also have another fashion 
haul following up this one. The next one is going to be more of things that I've ordered from Amazon and things that I've just kind of been getting from like Target and Costco and places like that because I do shop um, out like in the street. I actually like to go to the mall and shop. I'm not just all about the online stuff. I love online but I think that because my body type and how short I am it's like a worry of mine that I'm gonna order something and it's just not gonna fit right and I hate returning things online because it is not easy especially from pretty little thing I have a whole bunch of stuff that like four things that I have to return that I haven't been able to so now I'm just gonna have to eat up the cost and give them away or something um anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe turn on the notifications button so you're notified anytime i make a post i love you guys so much thank you so much for your support um my little cousins from california have been subscribing thank you guys i love you so much i can't wait to see you guys um maybe for the new year um anyway thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day happy holidays and go ahead and subscribe